Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, September the 17th. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 65, Job chapter 40, verse 1 to 24. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows. Alleluia. Psalm 65. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows. You who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us our offenses but you wipe them away. Bless those whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and the far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth and you give it water, you till it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, and you Soften it with showers, and you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, and the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Job, chapter 40, beginning at verse 1. And Yahweh said to Job, Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? Anyone who argues with God must respond. And then Job answered Yahweh, See, I am of small account. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand on my mouth. I have spoken once, and I will not answer twice, but will proceed no farther. Further, and then Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind, Gird your loins like a man. I will question you, and you will declare to me, Will you even put me in the wrong Will you condemn me that you may be justified? Have you an arm like God, and can you thunder with a voice like his? Deck yourself with majesty and dignity, and clothe yourself with glory and splendor. Pour out the overflowings of your anger, and look on all who are a proud and abase them. Look, uh, hide them all in the dust together. Bind their faces in the world below then I will also acknowledge to you that your own right hand can give you victory. Look at Behemoth, which I made just as I made you. It eats grass like an ox. His strength is in its loins and its power in the muscles of its belly. It makes its tail stiff like a cedar. The sinew of its thighs are knit together. Its bones are tubes of bronze, and its limbs like bars of iron. It is the first of the great acts of God. Only it's a maker can approach it with the sword. For the mountains yield food for it where all the wild animals play. Under the lotus plant it lies, in the covert of the reed and in the marsh. The lotus trees cover it for shade, and the willows of the wadi surround it. And even if the river is turbulent, it is not frightened. It is confident through Jordan, though Jordan rushes against its mouth. Can one take it with hooks or pierce its nose with a snare? 
here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we all may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacrament, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.